are different triggers for migraine. One of them can be, for instance, daily stress. It can be stress at work, in personal life and other factors. Hormones play an important part of migraine. Uh, we know that the, major, the majority of our patients are female patients. These patients often do much worse when they have their menstruation. They do better when they're pregnant and interestingly they uh, do better, often better, when they are through menopause. So we know for a fact that uh, hormones play a big part in migraines. There are different triggers uh, for migraines and also uh, the causes of migraines have been debated in the past. Many of our patients describe it as a band around the head, like a pressing band, a band which develops into massive pain quite quickly sometimes. They have pa patients have auras, warning signs, flashing lights, sensitiveness to noise, mood swings, depression, abdominal symptoms. Many of our children who suffer from migraines have tummy ache. And the migraine is then developing into an excruciating head pain. A migraine is more severe than a normal headache. The normal headache, for instance, a so-called tension-type headache, which you get with daily stress, for instance, fades away with painkillers. A migraine often does not. And a migraine is associated with other symptoms such as sensitiveness to noise, sensitiveness to light, which we call phono and photophobia. The patients have to lie down in a dark room. They are very sensitive to migraine. They feel sick. They even vomit. And the pattern of a migraine is therefore quite different to a normal headache a lot of us have. The management of migraine can be very different and with every patient very individual. A lot of our patients watch their diet, which makes sense. A healthy diet does help. Patients with, for instance, gluten or other intolerances to food have to watch their diet very carefully because if they don't follow the guidelines with their diet, then that also triggers the migraine. Daily stress in work, other stresses including bad stress like bereavement for instance, also uh, induces migraine. The daily management otherwise with migraine means that you take medication, that you go and see a specialist, that you are in good contact and good report with your GP who keeps a watchful eye on you, and that you lead a normal, healthy life. What does that mean? That means that you sleep enough, at least six hours, that you have a regular pattern of sleep, um, that you preferably do not smoke, that you do not take any drugs, and that you don't drink too much alcohol. Migraines um, do normally not rise the risk of a heart attack. A heart attack is caused by other risk factors such as high blood pressure, um, increased weight, smoking. However, a migraine can risk the, increase the risk of a stroke or of a mini-stroke. This has been debated a lot and the latest research actually show that this is not as evident as we always thought. However, a migraine, frequent migraines, can cause so-called neurovascular problems and the, therefore these patients have to possibly have to undergo a scan and also a vascular risk profile needs to be assessed by a specialist. <music>